Good morning, beautiful people. It's Sherry Moulton back with another video. We're doing something Christmas. I would like to thank um, Wendy K501 for on our last bling bling video suggested with my leftover liquid glass that I do a reef. So today's video, which is going to go up for Sunday, it'll be Sunday's bling bling video. It's going to be a reef so I'm gonna go through everything but I just wanted to we have hats we go crazy I do anyways Christmas Eve is our big night here in our house and um, I'm just gonna show you a couple little things this is what we do <laughs> we have so much fun there I go this way and there's my son my son-in-law daughter and I so I have this huge huge bag it's all hats so through the month of December I may wear a hat every day you never know so that being said today <clears throat> I have just she said reef and it just my brain just went like crazy um, I didn't want to slab it just on a canvas so I'm trying to think what could I do so in my brain I wanted it to be either a window or a door so I thought well I could do the window I could do you know like a sunset picture and then paint the window panes and then put the reef on top of that I thought, that's a lot of work so then I thought oh, a door would be nice I have personally always wanted a red door. The husband said no. So I'm getting my red door today. So my thoughts are I'm gonna base coat this canvas red, and then I bought a tool. It hasn't come yet. It's supposed to come today. So I'm hoping it's here. I'm just gonna see if I can, I'm pretty sure I took a picture. It is a wood grain tool. So it will allow me to do that I'm excited so I'm gonna have it red and I'm gonna come back with a nice dark red brown and do that um, wood grain so that's what's in my brain hopefully it will work and then once that is done I have um, some fairy lights here's another snippet a sherry snippet this was last year's Christmas stuff it is a, let me read it, it says, Santa's magic key to be used in case there is no chimney. And I was making these with my Cricut last year. So they were, that went well at my Christmas sales. So I have a lot of these little fairy lights. So my thoughts were, I'm gonna base coat my canvas. I'm gonna put that wood grain on top, let that sit. I'm gonna put my, a glue with my E, 360 I think that's what it's called my jewelry glue I'm gonna glue because those fairy lights I'm just trying to find where I put them are very thin so I thought I could just glue them in the circle and then I will put my um, liquid glass which I'm gonna use and all that fun stuff so with that being said, there's so many things you could do. I went to Michael's and my thoughts are, I just didn't want a reef. I had to have, you know, there's a bow, right? So I went looking around and they had all of their Christmas picks on sale. They were buy one, get one free. This is what made me think of the red door. That is going to be my bow. I think that's going to be cute. So it's flat. So I will hear that. I'm gonna snip off this. But while I was there, they also had these. So I'm like, oh my goodness. And then they had this one. They would be cute to do the Christmas on the tree, your, your um, star. And then they had this one. It might not work on this, on this, but I thought I had to buy. They were buy one, get one free. And the most expensive one was Oh my goodness, like the one you would use for the tree, that was 
So for $3.99, you can get six little stars. So I thought that was cool. So I'm going to not use those ones today, but this is what it's going to be. So that's what made me think of the red door. I think that would be beautiful. And then I went to the dollar store, picked up this. I'm not going to use it. I bought it for the berries because I thought that would be really cute to periodically put berries. Um, I also went at the dollar store and bought a bag of little wee pine cones. I can't find them. I may have to go back and buy them. They're only a dollar, but still. So I got that to put on. I bought these in case I wanted to put little bigger berries. And when I was at the dollar store, I just have to show you these because it's there's so many neat things you can buy. Like I said before, it doesn't have to be expensive. They had these. One dollar and a quarter. They are this. It is a nice thickness. You could paint one side. A, like paint it all glitter. This side. Then you can do like a pour on it. Or you could um, do Mod Podge with pictures. And then you could resin. Pretty cool, I thought. And they're wooden. For a buck and a quarter, you get four in a bag. So I bought four. So I, I might do a video on this one because I think that that's going to be cool. So, and then I also found these. These were a buck fifty at Dollarama. Now, I, they were in a bag, so you couldn't really see them. So I pulled them out. They're like little poinsettia-shaped things. So I thought that would be cute to put into something. So with that being said, I'm excited. Um, I have my paints. I'll go through. I'm going to base coat the red with Crimson Red Deep Hue by Liquidex Basics. And um, I'm going to figure out the brown as I'm going which color I'm going to use, but I will be using our Martha Stewart's um, bling. It's not bling. It's confetti Ooh. silver. I will be using the Ashland broken glass. Well, it's called decorative filler. I call it broken glass. And it might change as I'm going, but I'm going to use these two um, fine glitters. One, they're both Martha Stewart. One is Peridot, and one is Verdelite, Verdelite, and like I said, I might mix it up, because you know, you got to go with the flow. Now, I feel bad because I did not cover the little cup of, which brought me to this video, the, the leftover of my liquid glass, so I have to mix up a little more, and with that, I'm going to be using the um, Black Diamond's Emerald Green Pigment Powder. And I am, oops, sorry guys, I gotta bend down. I am using my Liquid Tex, Liquid Glass by Triart. I'm in love with this. I have, like I said, I've had that for two years and I never really used it. Um, I'm actually hating to say this, but I prefer this than the resin with this stuff. So it's kind of nice. Um, like I said, they make this locally like it's like a 25 minute drive for me. So I'm gonna phone them and see about um, what their overseas shipping is and um, shipping to the US and all that kind of stuff. So I'll find that all out for you people. And hopefully maybe by the end of this video, I'll be able to let you know because I'm gonna probably phone them today. So that being said, I'm just brushing off my canvas. We are using a dollar store. Not everything's gonna be expensive. Um, this is Artworks. It is a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. I'm just going to show you that just in case you want to look for them. I left my name with the dollar store up by my trailer because that's where I've been buying these. So they're going to phone me when they're in and I'm going to go pick them up, <laughs> which is funny. So I did a test. So this is going to be, so I thought I'm going to test it on this first. Oh, 
before I go to the big one. So that's what's going to be. That's the red. I think that's going to be pretty. Minus the red on my hands. All right. So I will bring you down. We will base coat this and then I will put you on pause. And I'm hoping my little tool comes in. Amazon's great because everything comes quick sometimes. All right. Oh my goodness. The more I move, the more I'm making a mess. All right. I'm going to bring you down without getting red paint on my. There we go. Enough yakky gabbing. Let's get right down to the good stuff. Oh my goodness, why does this not want to work? There, you're all in. I can bring you forward a little bit. There we go. So I've put my paint on. Why I did so much, I have no clue. I'm special some days. And I mixed, actually, just a little bit of this in it. Probably didn't need to, but I don't know why I did it, but I did it. Because <laughs> it's me. Uh, all right, so with that, we are just going to base coat. Oh, I'm so excited. This is very excited. Just a heavy, and it doesn't have to be heavy. Like I said, you want it to look like a door, so the different layers of um, coloring is, would be nice too. See, I could just squirt this on here. Just plop it on and let it go. And woohoo! So I'm hoping everyone's having a wonderful Sunday. Today is actually Wednesday. Um, I hope everyone liked my galaxy pour that I put up. Getting back to some basics. I feel bad because I kept doing the Dutch pours because they're kind of fast and easy and you can get a video up pretty fast. So now that I'm home, I can actually play, which is nice. No, I guess I should spread that out because it looks like it's drying there a little bit. Do, 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 do. Oh, and, but yeah, I'm just using a foam brush. I guess I didn't say that, but. Again, um, I'm not too worried about, oops, this one's breaking through. You know what, I'm going to get the big, I'm going to bring the big guns out. And then it'll go quicker, I think. said if I was worried about the color and about it being perfect I definitely wouldn't be painting it this way because I'm just wanting to get it on just get a nice coat on there and then let it dry well, I guess I did good with the amount of paint I needed. It looked like a lot spread out all over the the canvas. Or not the canvas, the plate. There we go. Let's just make sure we're gonna when you're all done that up and down straight strokes because you kind of want it to be in the direction of a, let me come back because this is a little dry down here. Get rid of all that. Mix 
excited. So I hope this uh, plan comes together. <laughs> All right. And like I said, I'm not too worried if there's spots, because again, remember, we're covering this with the texture. I might just do a little bit more here. Texture with the, um, the wood grain aspect of the paint. I want to make sure it's, it's kind of covered where I'm not putting the, um, the reef. So you want to make sure, like this area on the outside is done pretty good because There we go. I hope Christmas is not going to be so weird this year with everything that's going on right now. The one of the only times I get all of my kids together, well, I have two children and two other halves, but um, all right, I'm going to pick you up guys and do the sides just quick, quick, quick. I, um, being in the military and being living away, we just got used to, we, at the time we had the only kids on both sides of the family on his side, my side. So we just never really did much at Christmas because to me, Christmas is for the kids. And um, even when we moved back home, it was, you're welcome to come here. We don't leave Christmas Day. That might be selfish, but to me it was because the kids were still young when we moved back home. So we just got used to just us guys being here. So, and they're 30 and 31 almost. And well, 31 and 32 almost. And we still do the same. So what we have, everyone comes Christmas Eve. We have a big Christmas Eve. And that's where we wear all our silly hats. And I, I quite enjoy <clears throat> the stockings. Oh my goodness, I go crazy with stockings. My kids, like I said, my kids aren't little. And I probably spend just as much on the stockings as I do the present that they get the next day. <laughs> And our stockings are usually the size of a garbage bag. And it's just, you know, you buy some fun stuff. You buy some, when the kids lived and they were both in college and when my daughter was in university, we used to buy like cases of craft dinner and cases of Habitant pea soup. And that would be what they would get in their stockings. So it wasn't always. And of course, I don't know if all you peeps, but my kids are so used to socks, the boys anyway, socks. They've got their yearlies, years worth of socks in their stockings. <laughs> so, alrighty, last, last corner. And make sure you get in the corners of that canvas because even the expensive ones, the corners aren't 100% perfect, so. That's why I don't mind using these dollar store canvases. All right, let me just peek at the bottom one because it looks like I hit all good. Perfect. Now I gotta take my fingerprint off that I just put on. Oh my goodness, Sherry. There we go. So my friends, we are gonna leave this, let it dry. And I'm, I'm praying my tool comes today. Pray with me. And uh, yeah, see, I think this is going to pop. That'll be so pretty. <sighs> Especially, I'm going to do like a dark, almost like a black brown with a little bit of red in it. I'm going to try and mix up a color. So with that being said, I'm going to let you go on pause and we will come back with the, the wood grain. Oh, I'm praying it works. I'll see you in a bit. 
Hello, beautiful people. We are all base coated. Let me get you in there straight. My tool came in. This is what it's called, wood grain tool. It has the directions on the back. And this is what it looks like. I was playing, not sure, but we're gonna figure it out as we go. Even if, I watched a little bit of a video, even if we used some, um, oh my goodness, steel wool, I think, would also give us a bit of a wood grain. So I'm going to play. If this doesn't turn out with this, because I haven't really been able to do it, I think maybe this is too small. So I've got, oh, I've got the red paint. Oh, why are you so crooked? I also have, um, I went into that store where I buy my liquid glass and I bought glazing medium and that's what you mix so that you can do this kind of a faux finish, I guess. And then I also have my uh, Triart Burnt Umber. That's the color that I used. Um, four parts of this to one part of this. So I, you're not gonna use a lot cause you know, I did, so that would be two of these cups of the um, glazing medium and I did a half a cup. So that would be four to one, right? All right, cross your fingers, your toes and hope this goes right. And if not, we will wet it down a little bit and we'll just try and do it with the, um, the sponge. All right, so we wanna do a fair amount and I wanna kinda work a little fast so that we're not gonna let it dry. And go over the edges we're just gonna fix that up get a nice even coat let's oh shoot that's not what I wanted to do did not want to put my whole brush in there all right now the just I got is you start like this with this part first. Let me see if I can, I need to see where I'm going here. Start and then with a slow but constant rock and pull. You kind of get a wood grain. Does it look like a wood grain? We're gonna go with it. That's not bad. Now you wipe it off in between. I have my pail of water, which I don't know if it's, I should do that or not, but that's what I'm doing. Wiping it off in between. So I think the more I go at it, the better it'll go. Cause you know how that works. So I'm gonna, Go again, we're gonna go down this far. Get coverage. drying already. I gotta move fast. I should have a bigger brush. All right, let's try this again, starting from the top and God. Look at that. 
Oh, I am so impressed with myself. Oh, my left, my finger now. Oh, okay. This is going to be cool now. So what I might do is, I got water everywhere. At the end of this, because the sides, I might just come back and do like a dry brush with this so the sides look nice. Oh my, I'm so excited. I think it was the length of what I was doing. Now, I bought my tool off of Amazon. Um, it is not in my shop as of right this minute, but I'm going to hopefully, when I'm done, get it in there for you guys. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm excited. Ah, here we go. Oh, slipped. Oh, my goodness. Is it not cool when a plan comes together? And see how much... Mm, I mixed up so that I should have done half of this so I'm hoping that I can keep this in a jar and then I can do this again we can do different colored doors <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm like a, you know, a five-year-old. But it's so exciting when something works. Especially, I've never done this before. It's kind of cool. Oh, shootles, I forgot to wipe off the excess. I am making a mess everywhere. Oh, I'm in, oh. When I step back, it looks amazing. And I think that red is gonna be so nice with that leaf, with the um, reef. And the leaf as well, I guess. Here we go. One, oh, this silly sweater. Here, let me just take it off. All right. So, I talk to try art the company oh that's not at all what we want it's too dry Sorry, guys. And that might be too much paint. All right, let's try this again. So I talked to them at TriArt, and they said that you can order, and they ship worldwide. I think I was giving you the wrong... Um, link i was giving you the actual link to the company that makes it as opposed to the link to the store it's called art noise and it's just a local little store in kingston ontario so which is good i tried to get a promo code but they don't offer that so i did try my friends oh my god this is so exciting all right, let's talk more work. Let's get this on here. Not that I've heard that before. And kind of got to work a little fast. All right. 
<laughs> mm. Board number one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Oh, you're in. Good. Okay, here we go. Drag, pull, rock, pull, up, and rock. Hmm. Let me see. I may fix that bottom half. I am making an awful mess over here at my table. <laughs> an awful mess. Let me see if I can pick it up from here. Just gonna I've got a lip here I'm just gonna try and soften it with my finger and it's drying pretty good so what I would do make sure your edges oh I can't see at the top is rough there we go I'm gonna soak this in here One more board. Oh my goodness. And we got little bits here, a little bitty here, a little bitty here. But don't forget, we are putting a reef on the door. So those little things that do not look good at the moment, we can fix that. Hmm. Getting it all over my red sweater. All right, last one. <gasps> Here we go. Quick and sort of painless. I would do this and I would use that's about what two inches three and in three inches wide maybe I would use a brush that wide if you can I think that would rectify my issue that I'm having with it drying because then you have to only you know do one big swipe and you're good all right. I just want to wash up my brushes a little bit. I had it all the way up into my the top of it. Okay, here we go. Ah, poop a doop. Let me see. It's really wet. All right, it's gonna drag down. So. The, here we go. Last one. Place it there and press, pull, rock, up, and leave it. Oh. All right. I almost feel like I need a, I don't smoke a cigarette or something because this actually turned <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I am strange. I've been known to say some weird things and I apologize. <laughs> but with this, I am over the moon because I did not know if it would work. Like, look at that. I'm going to bring it up. Look at that. Does that not look like a wood grain? I am so impressed. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to take my brush. I am going to paint the edge. And I'm just going to give it like a wash. I don't know. We'll see. 
I'm going to try to see what I'm going to get done here and see if it works. But you know what? I also have a little one. But it would be hard to do it, I think. Let me see. I know you can't see this, but I have to try this. Okay. I have to do it the sides. I'm going to flip it upside down, I think, so you can see it. All right. I'm going to do the edges. So I can't do that with you seeing, but I will show you the end. Actually, that, no. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to take a picture and send it to my dad. Oh my goodness. It's like one of those moments where you're like, oh, I don't know if it's going to work. And it did. And oh, you should be excited for me. I got a red door. Might not be on my front door, but it's there. Okay, here we go. Up. Drag down. Up. Drag down. Oh my. That looks so cool. Now I'm just going to no, no, I'm just going to leave it. Now i got to be careful now. Because I have to... I might wait till those are dry. Because I have to flip it to do the other two sides. So I'm going to let it dry. Oh, my, my. I'm doing a happy dance over here. I don't know if you can see me. But anyways, I let it dry. And then we are going to come back and get our liquid glass on and some glitter on and we're going to be building a reef. Be right back. Good morning everybody. It is crazy. Sherry's up early all the time. It's like five o'clock in the morning and I was so excited. I had to come down and try this. So this is my, uh, I am just so impressed how this turned out. It is crazy. It really looks like wood grain. I'm excited. So my thoughts are, um, I want to put a circle and this is where the center of my reef will be. So I'm going to work here kind of out like this. So what I'm going to do is I've basically centered my bowl. You guys are always crooked. Silly camera thing. So I've centered my bowl. I'm going to use my black Sharpie and I'm just going to make a small little line. And there we go. It won't matter because that's the line that I'm going to put my liquid glass on and work from there. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to set my bowls down here so they're not in my way. Now, what I'm thinking is I'm not a everything has to be perfect. I'm the oddball that likes to put things on the sides, not down on the center. So I'm thinking my tree, my, my little bow, as in the, the car, is going to come here. So for that, I'm going to poke a hole here to put my lights in. Because right about now, I'm just going to, a little exacto. Ah! You want to keep the blade inside the handle. I don't know why it's like that, but anyway. Oh, there we go. We got her tight. So I'm going to just poke a little wee hole here. I'm going to come more so on this side. There we go. And that's just, I don't know if you can see it, just, I'll bring it up and show you. Just a little wee pin. Where is it? Yeah. There you go. Right there. Okay. Now, my little fairy lights. 
I'm going to untie them. Oh my goodness, Sherry. They're in a knot. <laughs> Oh, this is so crazy. I could see me doing one for four seasons. All right, you can now see where the hole is and I'm gonna pop my light through, which it needs to be a little bigger. I'm gonna come at it from the bottom. And just poke it through, sorry guys. There we go. And it will get big. I'm not worried about it. Okay, so where that stopped, and what I'm going to do, first of all, is to put a dab of glue, because this is what happened with the other one. It kept um, falling through. My, I keep calling it E360. It's E6000. Why? I don't know. I keep calling things by the wrong names. I'm just going to... Oh, this is the most amazing glue. I used it always for my jewelry. So I'm going to put a big old gob here. And hopefully it dries. There we go. Now, I'm going to stick a piece of tape there just to hold it while it is drying because I want to make sure it stays in place. while it's drying. Perfecto. We're gonna flip her over. And let's the fun begin. Could you imagine this with like a, a light pink or a tealy blue? Oh, I just, again, everything is just, it's endless. So what I'm going to do is kind of come back with little bits of tape and just kind of tape it where I want it. And if you go over the line, it don't much matter. And I'm not too worried about the tape because, again, this is all being covered, right? like the line try and keep it the tape on the outer edge of it because I don't want to put a whole lot in the center I'm so happy that Wendy suggested this. So if you want, a, you know, suggest something that I could do the next time. That would be wonderful. Now, try and put the tape on top of the tape, and that'll work. 
work. Maybe where the lights are. Okay, now, where to put the glue? So I'm just going to glue along the lines. And just kind of spread it out. And again, if there's, it don't matter if it's going to be all bubbly because remember this is being covered. With the liquid glass. Not too fancy dancy, just getting it on. I'm actually going to put one right over where that hole is. There you go. bigger gob over here just because it's got two on this one. Hopefully, we're going to leave it sit for a couple hours, and then I'm going to come back, and we will do, hopefully, it'll be all adhered. Pretty sure it'll work. I had a hard time with the resin, because <clears throat> I had to keep coming down and poking it down, and it, it wouldn't stay. watch the glue some of that with the tape because you don't want to have all that fuss about the tape afterwards as well I guess I'm going to remove that piece because I want to put glue on both There we go. We're going to let it be like that. Let it sit for a couple hours and uh, we'll come back. Now, with this guy here, it's got all the tree. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Got all the trees on the back. Do you see how it's sticking out? I'm going to trim the tree that's back here 
and I'll do that while we're <sighs> set this aside and I'll just show you what I'm doing. So I'm just taking my scissors and going like this, right? And I'm just cutting it off. Just so it'll lay flat in the back. Won't affect the front. Doing this now, I'm like, okay, I wanna pull my tree out. I gotta decorate now. So the reef will come, this guy will come around here. Or a little more on there. Yeah, I think that'll be cute. It lays flat now. So I would glue because the, so sorry, because the wheels are the high point on here. So I'll glue it by the wheels. So, all right. With that, I'm going to leave you, love you and leave you again, and I'll be back in a few hours. Actually, I'm going to turn him off so I don't waste the battery because, you know, we got to keep it looking good. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I'm sorry. Little things amuse me. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Hello, we are back. Our lights are glued. I have my liquid glass all ready. I've organized all my stuff. I'm just gonna put them on to show you. So that's three lights. I'm excited. So I have my liquid glass, which is liquid glass tri art. It is with the um, Black Diamond Pigment Emerald Green. I have placed it in my little squirt bottle. Hopefully this works. And I'll just go through what I have because I might decide on different things. So I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to attempt to kind of swirl it out as I'm doing it. You do a big chunk here. I want to go, I think what I want to do is go heavy with the glass, kind of around the lights, and then swirl it out into like a semicircle motion and hit it with glitter. I am using, I'm going to try to use these two greens out of the the dollar store pack these are at the here in canada i've bought both at the dollar tree and at dollar rama so <clears throat> some people were asking about that i'm gonna throw some of my martha stewart bling in there not bling i keep calling it bling it's silver it's confetti Martha Stewart confetti glitter and it is silver. Spit it all out. That is my Ashlyn's broken glass, well, filler, broken glass glitter is what I call it, broken glass. And I'm not sure, I might do some red. This one is Recollections and it is garnet, fine glitter. So, and then I have these ones out of my little um, Sparkleberry Michaels. It, it came in a four part kit. And it's, oh, sorry, that's what it looks like. And I might put these two kind of chunky ones in there. We will see. Alrighty, I brought tools out. These are in my Amazon shop. These are meant for resin. They're like a pen. And I have my sponge. So I have um, little pine cones because in my 
um, little bowl. This is going to be my bowl. It has little pine cones. So I found these at the dollar store. They were a dollar fifty. I bought three of them. And I came down and it smells cinnamon. Oh my goodness. And then I purchased these. The dollar store. These were three bucks though. Because they had the little balls in. So I've cut them apart. And obviously I'm not going to use. They're just little foam. Styrofoam balls. So obviously I'm not going to. I'll put that side down if I can. So I thought I would sprinkle some of the little red balls throughout and some of the little wee pine cones, possibly. We'll see. It's all on the whatever comes. Okay, here we go, my friends. <gasps> the magic is beginning. I have to take my sweater off. It's going to get in the way. Here we go. Here we go. I'm so excited. heavy over here. And this will help adhere the lights better in into the reef as well, which is good. Yeah. Let that sit for just a minute. I'm just so excited. Now with this, I'm going to see if I can do some fine lines and then come back with my sponge. make it a little pretty cool. And I think we'll just kind of do this on the inside to give it a little, I'm not squirting any out, I'm just kind of dragging it just to give that little three-dimensional to the reef because I don't want to go too much into the middle. Now, I'm going to come back with my sponge and just kind of make it a little wider. some more here because I'd like it. I don't know. Do I bring it out more? I'm just going to make that line a little more on the outside. Mooting and tooting. goof this part up because the base looks so amazing. <laughs> I just want to make 
just to find that make it out a little more want to make sure it's even as well. Don't want one side to be a little more fuller than the other. Bring this up. We can get more of that glitter in there. I'm just going to try and measure to see I think that's it. I don't want to do maybe a little more on top here. Yes, I think that's it. Let me. There, I think that's that. Oh, I'm excited. All right. The magic. Let's get it going, buddies. All right. I want to come heavy down the center with this. Because I found on the tree, I went light, but I think this will go good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick on my the lights. I want to hide the wire, so I'm going to go quite heavy where the wire is. And I think it'll give the reef some depth, which will be nice. And here, it don't matter because, boy, that's going there. Okay. And I'll just sprinkle out so we get a little bit on the... A little more here, maybe. Give it that. Right. Now we'll do some of Martha. Whoop, seducers. Oh yeah, Martha is done. Now, do I put oh, this guy down here or up here? Well, I think more like that. Now, I'm almost tempted to wait. Right, let's put the lights on so we can see where we're all going. Some, I might just dig up there, just so you can see those lights. I think 
that's it there. Perfect. Wondering. Little pine cones. Yeah. You know what? I might come back. I'm just going to do the glitter. And I'm going to come back with my E360. E6000. Oh my goodness, Sherry. What I'm going to do is I will do the glitter and then I'll come back and embellish with, um, after I shake it off with these things. I think that's my thoughts. So we have this glitter from that dollar store. We're going to do all around. A little bit of the other one. And then I'm going to do the chunky. Let's see, this one's got, yeah, we'll do this one. It's got a bunch of different, oh, and goodness, oh. Let me just, it's got that little plastic thing in there, I forgot. All right. Here we go. Up high. Ooh, that's a little bit much there. There. We're going to leave that dry. Awesome. Oh my goodness, I am excited. I think that looks good. Okay, we're going to let it dry. I'm going to flick off my lights. So. And... Let it dry. Actually, that's the one good thing I love about this liquid glass. It was, mm, I think I was able to shake it off within three hours or so, which is good. So I'll come back and we're going to embellish with all my lovelies that I've got down here. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we are back. It's dried. I brushed a little on the inside just to make sure it was dried. So we're going to give it a good shake. I have my puppy pad upside down, and look at this. <laughs> I just love how the liquid glass makes everything stay almost a little better than the resin. Which I hate to admit because I love the resin. But this is a nice alternative. I'll try and get all of the excess off. I'm not going to brush too much over that area because it's still. Perfect. It's still a little bit dampish, but oh, that turned out amazing. I'm happy. I actually like this better than the tree. Oh my goodness. I want all of the excess. Ooh, I'm going to push that in there because it might stick. Because it's still a little bit. Now you can see here the wire. But you know what? That's fine. There. <gasps> oh, okay. 
Oh my my. Look at that. Is that not amazing? It would be pretty just on its own, but me being Sherry, my tree, my little car, I'm going to put here. Actually, I think that's actually a good spot. Like that. Awesome. What I'm doing is I'm using my E36 E6000. <laughs> oh my my. What is it with me calling it the wrong name? Now, well, it's par for me anyways. I am just going to honk it up if that's even a word. Probably not. And I'll be told. <laughs> just going to get a take as much like I mean a big a big piece because I want to make sure it's going to be stuck on the wheels. But make sure you don't go and have a little and again. I have a love-hate relationship with this glue. Oh, I used to do a lot of Swarovski flatbacks and I used to, I would line my flip-flops and I would, um, yeah. So it was like a, a big old pain in the butt. See how much of glue I've got? That's quite a substantial amount because we want to make sure it goes on, right? The first time. Where did I say here? Ooh, I can feel it in there. What I might do is come up from behind and give it a good little shmusheroo. Now, I can see the glue here. Do I just leave it? I'm just going to leave it because I think the, if I played, it would um, possibly come off. I don't know. Do I need to put a couple of these? I'm going to set them. I want to use the little littlest ones I can find just to... This container has a bunch, oh, sorry, a bunch of sizes. I'm going to get rid of these big, big mothers out of here so we can look. There. There. Get rid of this one. That just looks like a, I don't know what. There. And then... think I think actually if I could put a couple berries each little kind of like that maybe that's too many like group it together This on this end just to give the color up down up down this guy can go over here this guy can go on this side 
I think so. <sighs> yeah, I think that's good. What do you think, guys? I can't hear you, but... I think we're going to leave it at that and I will glue them on. Just to... I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I am back. We're going to just use my E6000. And I think I got them placed where I want them. And we're just going to glue. So what I'm going to do is get a little bit, just a little bit of glue. And we'll start at the top. Put it on. And glue it in. And we're going to do this all the way around. There we go. Now the pine cones, I might put a whole bunch on just be, so they adhere. I shouldn't put that on my canvas because oh you people know me I will end up with glue everywhere there put that there going to be so pretty. So pretty. What's falling? Oh, the lid. All right. I have to pick that up because I know when I'm done, I won't be able to find it. So that's this way. That one goes that way. Oh, I'm just going to pick my lid up because I'm old and forgetful and I'll forget that it's there. There we go. Three more little bunches. I probably could have put this inside the thing, but then as I'm, I was thinking as I was shaking off, I would wreck the little red balls because they're just styrofoam and I didn't want them to be ruined. Okay, this one's got to come under. No, I don't want glue on my hand. There we go. Perfect. It is so nice and bright today. It's warmed up a little bit here. in there. Perfect. Actually, I guess I want a little more on that. Oh, that's good. It's a one piece here. Get yourself one of these wood tools. I made a point while I was waiting for it to dry. It's in both my Amazon shops, the Canadian and the American. There we go. 
is actually quite a cool little tool. I was impressed. I didn't think I'd get her get it done. Get it down pat if that makes any sense. But it works. I'm going to make sure there's no white showing, so I'm ah, flipping my hand so I can get it in there. And I don't want a lot of glue, enough to adhere it, but not enough for it to ooze out because the glue will show white. There we go. One more left. And then I can call this piece Finito. These two little balls together. Perfect. Put that one in there and we can call it a day. I'm excited. What I'll do is I'm going to let this sit for a few hours. And then I will come down and we will show you what it looks like and possibly yeah with all the lights because I don't want to stand it up too too soon I don't want all of those lovelies to fall off actually over the moon you know you could put anything here they have those cute little birds with the feather anything would go amazing in here and I am just like I said I'm over I'm more impressed about the the wood grain than anything so there you go so that is that um, if you like the video give it a thumbs up um, hit the bell, share if you like, and yeah, I'm going to put you on hold now, but I'll put a little clip at the end, and it'll be hanging up in my kitchen maybe, and we'll get a nice little look with it. the lights off, and the lights on, the kitchen lights off and the lights on, give you a nice look at them. Alrighty, so I'll catch you in the next one, and I will see you at the end with a nice reveal. Love you guys. Bye.